are breaking the ground for affordable houses. And we want to tell you, Mr. President, that we are fully behind you. We are going to work with you. We as the leaders, <coughs> as leaders of Ukambani were elected, we are fully behind you. We'll give you the support that you need from our areas. And Mr. President, I don't want to say much because the governor is here and she'll say much. But I want to request you, Mr. President, that these affordable houses, the poor people who can, cannot afford, if the government can chip in for them, especially the people who are living in slums here in Mavoko, that they can also afford houses here. Mr. President, you will have done us a great favor. And if you do that, uh, Mr. President, God will continue blessing you. I don't want to say much because Governor is here standing. Thank you very much for coming. We are in fully support of you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, it is with great joy that I welcome you to Machakos County. Thank you for finding time from your busy schedule to come and launch the development project as part of your agenda of affordable housing. Machakos County continues to provide housing for people working in Nairobi due to its close proximity and availability of land for construction. Since Nairobi is, a fast, is fast growing, especially towards Machakos, there is an urgent need for increased housing through partnership by the two governments. The commissioning of the completed SNP housing project and the launch of the proposed 5,360 5, housing units in Machakos County is meant to strengthen our partnership with the national government. Your Excellency, my government is fully committed to working with the national government towards provision of affordable housing for all the citizens. I sincerely thank you for handing over the completed ECD uh, classrooms and the dispensary to the county government. <laughs> Further, my administration is in, in consultation with the Department of Housing to actualize this project. I am aware that there is a request for a waiver on the same development on the same development control requirements. We are considering the request. I am glad to note that the national government has proposed to collaborate with the county through our TVETs and Juakali artisans to do the following. Fabricate and supply all steel windows and doors. Allow all needed sand ballast to be supplied by local merchants in Machakos County. <laughs> Hand over the public facilities to the county upon completion. Avail at least 10% of the completed units to the, for, to the county for sale to qualified county personnel. Your Excellency, 10% Nikidogo. Tuangalie ye kuje 2030 hapo because most of the houses really are sold to the national government, to the civil servants in the national government like these ones. So we want at least the rest to be sold to the uh, people from the county and also from the county government. Your Excellency, although Machakos County is endowed with sufficient land for development of houses and industry, the land lacks crucial infrastructure such as all weather roads, uh, sewer systems, clean and fresh water, and stable power supply to enable this development. If we can work with your government to ensure we receive all that, then I can assure you the city is growing this side. And next time when you're giving cities, Your Excellency, think of Machakos 
Mavoko and Machakos uh, constituency, we can have two twin cities in uh, Machakos County. That is Mavoko, Mavoko and Machakos. Thank you, sir. Our request is that the national government provides county with the necessary infrastructure development that will, in return, spur development in the neighboring residential areas of Siokimao, Katani, and Mulolongo. I humbly request your government to take, the, to take up the improvement of roads from Mulolongo through Katani to Kangundo Road. Walianza, lakini mewachwa tu maali hangi, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, my administration recognizes and appreciates the great efforts of the national government to provide essential services to the county. For example, the ongoing duel, uh, dwelling of Atriva Machakos Road will go a long way to ease the movement of people and goods to and from the county. However, I request that the dwelling be, the dwelling be f uh, fast tracked and extended to Kwanzaa City for fa f uh, to further open up the area. I note with satisfaction that your government is supporting the Daragu Dam Water Project. That is aimed to providing additional water to our county. I request that this project be fastened and completed successfully. Your Excellency, we applaud the formation of the Nairobi Commission. Uh, the, sorry, Your Excellency, we applaud the formation of the Nairobi River Commission. As you know, Nairobi River drains into Ate River which passes through Machakos County. It is key to sustaining many livelihoods across Okambane. My request to you, sir, is that you kindly consider inclusion of additional members to represent us in the key as key stakeholders. Your Excellency, our people down the stream are suffering a lot. If we go to Mala, we have a lot of cases of cancer and it is because of the river. If we work together, I think uh, maybe the, at the river will be one of the rivers that people will come from all over the world to see what you have done. And Your Excellency Najoa Nimchapakazi, I worked with you in the 10th Parliament. We were together in the 10th Parliament. I was a member of Parliament, he was a, a member of Parliament. I was the Assistant Minister in charge of Youth Affairs and Sports. He was the Minister for Agriculture. So, Najua Weni Mshapakazi, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I have several infrastructure projects in my county that I request support from your government for implementation and completion to facilitate service delivery across the county. These are Kangundo Mwala Road, Lukenya Keno Road, Wamunyu Ikalasa. Itangini Road, Siokimau Road, roads around Ati River and Mulolongo and Siokimau. This is a growing area. When we cross over to Nairobi on the other side, they have more tarmac than us. In fact, they call us people from the village. We are next to Karagita. Is it? Mehango. Mehango. If you go to Mehango, imagine they have tarmac all over, and here in Siokimau we don't have, and that was the work of the national government. Your Excellency, Pindua Tumacho, Pandeiki Dogo, Tutafuraia. Tukona Zebra, Kinga, Gizunguri Road. Iyo ni airways. Iyo barabara ilichukuliwa na kura. Your Excellency, if wanaza kuarakisha, watutengenezea tutashukuliwa. Katangi Kizimani Road, Ekalakala, Mudesia Bridge. Your Excellency, Kwanza you are Masinga Ukitengeneza. Apo Bengine ni Mungu tu. Iyo bridge. That bridge will change the life of the people of Masinga. Uh, sports, we have a stadium here that was being done by the national government and uh, uh, it has told, if it, if, it, if it can be completed, we'll really appreciate your excellency. 
uh, for water. Your Excellency, I've seen you paying a lot of attention on water. You've said you're going to do about 400 dams. Yeah, with the, uh, among those dams, I'll kindly ask you to look at Masinga. I, I am trying as a governor of Machakos. I'm not just requesting and doing nothing. As we started, as I came, we have already tried to do about 16 of them. Yeah, but these are mega dams that if you can help us, we'll be able at least to have supply to most of our people because the biggest problem we have is water. And Your Excellency, we do not want after five years, 10 years again, we continue talking about water. We're also doing water mapping for the whole of Machakos County to know where we can source water from also. So we have Masinga, we have the Masinga Kitui project, and I'm going to give the governor an opportunity here to speak also. The water from Masinga, uh, the water comes from Machakos County and to Kitui. Now, Kitui now sells water to Machakos County. Your Excellency, we don't mind them having their own meter and us having our own meter so that we can be able to regulate water. On this side, and we are, we are in conversation with the governor, and I'm sure we'll get somewhere on that with your officers in the national government. Uh, your Excellency, we have Maruba Dam, the silting. We have Muoni Dam is one of the biggest dams in Kadiani. We need that uh, proper desilting of it, Your Excellency. Among the dams that you're giving, Miwongoni Dam in Katelembo, there's some money, it's just to fast track that uh, project. The other is Yata Dam. I know you have been to Yata, Your Excellency. That, yeah, there was uh, some cases, and we are ready to finish all your national, for the government to come and continue doing the dam for us, the Yata Dam. We also, uh, if we move uh, la level five to a teaching and referral hospital, that comes to sharing between us and the national government. Your Excellency would want to change Machakos, Machakos level four, five hospital to a teaching and referral because we don't have one on this side. If we can work together on that, we would really appreciate. Uh, Your Excellency, I don't want to talk. I know there's something you're going to do for us here. That is for you. I don't want to say about the hospital. I don't want to say that here, Your Excellency. Uh, there's also uh, construction of a river level four. I am going to try my best and do it. Like in Ukipata, Nisawa to Your Excellency. Uh, we are also seeking policy directions on new HC, Your Excellency. Yeah? We need, we would want your Minister for Health to look at that. Yeah, so we want directions on that. Uh, markets, I've also been speaking to your peers and your Minister here. I know you're doing some markets. We are looking at Mutituni, Mulolongo, Joska, Wamunyu, Matu. And Matu, Your Excellency. Uh, on agriculture, we want to thank you. We got the subsidized uh, fertilizer uh, at a good price. Unajua Roma ijengu inasiku moja. Na ile kidogo watu anapata wa shukuru. We want to thank you for that. Because hiyo fertilizer atuku watu kipata. Sindio? Na tumepata. Situ shukuru hiyo tumepata. We want to thank you for that, Your Excellency. We also want to uh, look at uh, Mwoni. Uh, on agriculture, we have some uh, irrigation schemes which you can work with your national government, Muoni, Kamu, uh, Kibauni, irrigation schemes. We have that. We can improve. We want to be a food basket, one of the food baskets. We have land, but we lack water. If we work together, we'll be able also to feed uh, Kenya. Uh, we're also looking at uh, food processing plants, especially in Yata. And Your Excellency, I want to thank you. You gave us relief food and also other stakeholders did. I want to thank you so much because our students did their exams wakiwa na chakula. Hakuna student anaza kusema alienda bila chakula. Mimi na shukuru sana for the support that you gave us. Let us, Your Excellency, as we finish, we look at the Technical Institute from the Ministry of um, Education, I think TVET, the PS, if we can have one big Technical Institute here, we work together, we would really appreciate. Because how our to work on a same hustler, Your Excellency, when Guinea Shida Yao, Mutu always yata ku afford college. 
tukiweka wote kwa mativet na tukue na technical institute at least they will be able to fend for themselves so if we can and what we have said, if we work together, Your Excellency, we can, after they finish, we can give them some equipment and some little money to go and start work. Kama mtu wa mefundisho address making, apatiwe charani, na pesa ya kununua material, ayende anzishe biashara yake kidogo. So us working together, Your Excellency, in collaboration, things will uh, work for our people because our interest is the people of Kenya. Finally, I wish to thank you for the water project uh, supported by your government on the Belgium uh, uh, and the Belgium government, the one that is ongoing now on expressway. The project involves supply of water to residents of Mavoko, construction of elaborate water treatment plant, a water distribution line from Nairobi County to Mavoko and associated waterworks. That is the project, Your Excellency. It is to do with the expressway. Hiyo ikimalizwa, tunaeza sasa hata kuanza kupata maji pandei. This project is nearly completion. completion. I pray that you will be back very soon to commission it upon completion. In conclusion, I would like to assure you of my commitment to work in collaboration with your national government for the sake of the development of the people of Machakos and the people of Kenya at large. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Sisu nashukuru sana. Tutafanya kazi na serikali yako. What all we have to say is thank you. Na hizi nyumba sikijengwa. Your Excellency waangalie bei ya nyumba. Sio watu wengi wanaweza ku afford. Hata tukipata nyumba za 500, 1 million. Mtu analipa 3000 ama 2000 per month na nyumba inakuwa yake. Your Excellency, we are here because of these people. Let us just work for them and make sure that they all live well. And before I conclude, I have the governor of uh, Kitui here. I would just, Aseme, I know you have another function, Your Excellency. Yeah, watch Aseme Kitu Kidogo. And then now I'll hand over to your minister. Your Excellency, the President, uh, my sister, Governor Machakos, Governor Avinia, Senator Machakos, Governor Mudama, Mweshmiwa Makau, CS, Wamambo ya Lands and Housing, and Principal Secretary Zambao Wakuapa, Mweshmiwa Wabunge, Pamoja wale wa kitaifa na wale wa kaunti zetu mabibi na mabwana mimi sina mengi kwa sababu dada yangu I mean my sister governor Avinya aliniambia nije tukaribishe mheshimiwa rais pamoja na mimi nikasema nitakuja wakati rais alikuja kule kitui kuombea huko Wavinya nilimuliza aje na akafika. Kwa hivyo lazima nirudishe mkono nirudisha. But then also principal secretary Inga alinitumia barua jana na asante sana kunialika pia. Mimi mambo ya housing hapo ndipo nililelewa. Niliingia civil service katika department ya housing na hii mambo ya affordable housing it's in my heart hata hii site way back in 2006 we visited this site with the, the then executive director of UN Habitat Madam Tibajuka our minister then was uh, Honorable Shitanda Nashukuru Hepcock uh, builders because walifanya the first slum upgrading project in Kenya Uko Kibera uh, maybe you still remember and I can see it's still going very strong 
e approach ya affordable housing ambayo inatekelezwa hapa ni kitu tunatakiwa ku support where the private sector the public sector they cooperate and do housing and where each does as what is possible to them to do and they have got what we call comparative advantage uh, public sector in a way that engineers policies and uh, could create a good environment ya kufanya housing na private sector wanaweza lete finance na kufanya building vile wanaweza fanya na amapi this is happening and then when we come to pricing of the houses we have what we call cross subsidy wale ambao wana pesa sana wanalipa slightly more and then wale ambao wana pesa sana they are subsidized by those who have more money and a mixed uh, development kama hii na vile nimesikia itafanya hivyo kwa hivyo sina mengi mheshimiwa rais ni tabia mbaya sana nikisimama hapa na nikianza kuuliza mambo ya kitui leo tuko machakos wakati ni wa my sister ameuliza yale ameuliza habari ya huku machakos which i also support lakini kitu kimoja ametaja ni ile maji ambayo inatoka masinga inakuja kitui and which is also shared by the people of masinga uh, kalakala area and uh, parts of matu hiyo tunataka tafadhali hata wakati ulipokuwa kitui niliuliza hiyo tunataka umuulize waziri wako wa maji na PS wako tushirikiane tuone vile tunaweza tengeneza ile inaitwa intech kwa sababu tukitengeneza intech na inataka pesa nyingi between about 300 million Kenya shillings maji ambayo itakuwa inatoka masinga kwenda kitui na ingine ambayo inakunywa katika inakunywa na watu katika masinga area and kalakala itaongezeka and therefore will not be able to fight over anything kwa hivyo tafadhali mheshimiwa hiyo pekee ndio nitauliza kwa hayo machache asante sana karibu huku ukambani uh, and i must say this i listened to you yesterday on tv when you are talking about the fiber optic program which you have initiated and i was very very impressed if that happens vile mheshimiwa makao alikuwa anasema 2027 wale wengine watasema sisi tumeinua mkono. Asante sana. Asante, asante sana your excellency. Before I call your minister, I just want to tell you more than 75% of the population of this country and you know it very well your excellency are the youth. Tuangalie hao watu. Tukiwaangalia mambo yetu itakuwa sawa. Itakuwa sawa. And uh, I want to thank you for your PS. Yeah, he's also he, he works uh, very well. We collaborate very well and we we'll continue working for the betterment of our people. I would like to take now this opportunity to welcome uh, the minister for lands which your excellency I needed to have a meeting Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, Excellency, the Governor, um, Machakos County, Excellency, the Governor, uh, Kitui, Honorable Members of Parliament, S Senators, my colleague, uh, CS Education, PS is uh, present, Mabibi na Mabwana Hamjambo. Mwanzo kabisa ni mshukuru sana His Excellency because you are here today to do one of the things you love most going round to make sure that you change the lives of people for better I am a living example your excellency 
kwa wale watu ambao wamelelewa kwa slums and i don't know why you fixed me in this docket kwa sababu sioni ni kipi ambacho kitatuma nisifanye watu waishi katika nyumba ambazo ni za fahari nyumba ambazo ni za heshma na hivyo when you are pushing us and making sure that we get decent affordable housing i am one of the people who will make sure that that agenda is achieved <laughs> your excellency we have transversed this country you told us when you, during the swearing in ulituambia tutangatange na hiyo tutatangatanga tuki make sure maisha ya wananchi yameweza kuboreshwa Your Excellency, we are in Homa Bay the other day, and soon we'll be inviting you to go there and launch uh, almost 4,000 affordable housing units. So this is something that is, is being welcomed all over the country, and that shows that people are in need, Your Excellency, of affordable houses. Kwaibio, for the governors, we are asking through the Council of Governors, get for us land as a government will come and build affordable houses. And we know once we do that, we'll be achieving the Kenya Kwanza plan of making sure that our people live in affordable houses. And to make sure or to make you know 190 that when his excellency talked of 250,000 units a year that is achievable it is doable for that for this short period that his excellency has been in the office we are we have 70,838 affordable houses ambazo zingine zimekamilika na zingine zinaendelea you can imagine how much we'll do in the next eight months. So, Your Excellency, we are happy we are to be here, and I want to confirm to His Excellency the Governor, Her Excellency the Governor, that soon Mavoko itakuwa part of Nairobi kwa sababu ya manyumba ambazo zitakuwa hapa. So, it's my great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to invite now His Excellency the President to come and address us. All welcome. Thank you very much. Asanteni sana. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Asanteni. Waishimiwa wote viongozi. Uh, waziri mulio hapa ma governor wetu governor wa Vinyandeti governor eh, mheshimiwa Malombe wa bunge mulio hapa senator wetu wa hapa Machakos mama Kavindu na ma MCA mulio hapa ndi huku viongozi wote wananchi wa Siokimau, Katani, Mavoko na Machako wa Samjambo. Hamjambo tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asanteni sana. Hawa majamaa wa relax tu nitaona na hawa baadaye. <laughs> So kwanza mimi nachukua nafasi hii kumshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tufike hapa Machakos eh, siku ya leo kwa shughuli hii ya muhimu ya mambo ya affordable housing Nataka niwashukuru watu wa Machakos kwa kutukaribisha hapa Asanteni sana kwa makaribisho yenu kutoka viongozi wenu na wananchi wa hapa Machakos mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu kuambia asante sana na asante zaidi <coughs> asante sana kwa kura zenu <coughs> uchaguzi wa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane 
sisi wote tulio hapa leo kuanzia MCA wabunge maseneta magavana na mimi sote tulichaguliwa mimi nataka niwaambie nyinyi kama wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana kwa kutupa nafasi ya uongozi na washukuru vile 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 viongozi wa hapa wamesema vile muko tayari kufanya kazi na mimi na mimi nataka niwahakikishie mimi niko tayari pia kufanya kazi na nyinyi Tumekwisha maliza sasa mambo ya uchaguzi viongozi wamechaguliwa na hakuna mtu amechaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya kwa ma, kwa makosa kila mtu amechaguliwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu ile imebaki sasa ile imebaki sasa kwetu kama viongozi ni kuungana ili kwa sababu tumepata sehemu yetu tuungane ili pia tuwatafutie wananchi wetu waliotupigia kura na ndio sababu leo mimi nafurahi kwamba tunaanzisha nyumba karibu elfu tano na mia tatu hapa sio kimao katika mpango wa affordable housing hii ni mradi ambayo tunaunganisha serikali ya Kenya watu wa UN Habitat private sector na tumepata usaidizi mkubwa pia kutoka county government ya hapa Machakos hii kolabo yetu sisi wote ni ili tuweze kupata mahali pazuri wananchi wetu watapata makao watapata manyumba na vile mumesikia developer akisema hii, hii mradi ama hii housing project ni moja wapo ya projects ambazo iko katika mipango ya serikali ya Kenya nia yetu ni kujenga kila mwaka nyumba kati ya elfu mia mbili na elfu mia mbili na hamsini every year na hiyo mpango ni kwa sababu tuko na wakenya mamilioni ambayo wanaishi katika makao duni wakenya zaidi ya milioni sita na nusu wanaishi katika slums ama informal settlements watu ambao wako na mortgage katika taifa letu la Kenya hawafiki 1040 inafaa tuwe na watu karibu milioni moja na nusu wakiwa wanalipa mortgage ili wawe home owners lakini matatizo ni kwamba hatuna manyumba ambayo wananchi wa kawaida wanaweza kununua nyumba nyingi ambazo zinajengwa ni ya bei haiwezi kufikiwa na mwananchi wa kawaida na ndio sababu tumesema tutakuwa makusudi kwa kujenga affordable houses nyumba ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida kama ni mtu ambaye anafanya biashara yake ndogo kama ni mtu ambaye anafanya eh, kazi eh, mahali analipwa mshahara pia wapate nafasi ya kuwa home owners katika taifa letu la Kenya and that is why this program is very dear to my administration we are going to work together as i have said with our county government to make sure that this program of affordable and social housing becomes a reality hii mradi ambayo tuko nayo hapa pia kutakuwa na mambo mengi ambayo yatahusishwa hapa ndani. Tumesema kama serikali ya Kenya hatutakuwa na mradi ambao is not climate smart and is not climate change compliant. Hii mradi itakuwa na green uh, um, spaces tutahakikisha kwamba yale mambo yote yanayohitajika ili makao haya yaweze kutoshelesha mahitaji ya watakao manunua manyumba hapa itafuatwa tumesema vile vile huyu contractor atafanya kazi na wale mahasla wa jua kali wa hapa 
madirisha, milango, hinges na zile um, parts zingine zote components ya construction itafanywa na watu wa jua kali na wale wengine wanaoishi sehemu hii suppliers wa sand suppliers wa mawe suppliers wa labor watakuwa ni watu wa hapa sio kimau na mavoko tumesema 40% ya hiyo bilioni ishirini karibu bilioni nane itaenda kwa suppliers na wananchi wa hapa mavoko na wale wafanyabiashara wetu watakaouza mali yao hapa tumekubaliana pia ya kwamba hii ndio itakuwa project ya kwanza ambayo tutapatia nafasi mafundi wanawake tukiendelea mbele unajua hii eh, section ya ufundi na mafundi imekuwa colonized na wanaume lakini tumesema we are going to start with this project and the contractor has been asked under the agreement we have with the UN Appetite and the government of Kenya to give opportunity to women who are artisans who are electricians those who are plumbers so that we begin to profile and to see that what men can do women can do better vile vile tumekubaliana katika mradi huu tutakuwa na services ambayo itakuwa ya wananchi tutakuwa hapa na shule tutakuwa hapa na soko tutakuwa hapa na hospitali na tutahakikisha kwamba all the other amenities are available so that they can be uh, used by those who will occupy houses here and for the community that is around here mimi vile vile nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba hii mpango ya affordable housing i have made a commitment that the government of kenya is going to work with all the stakeholders tayari tumekubaliana na pension um, institutions tumekubaliana na waegezaji wengine wengi na hii mpango ya low cost or affordable housing including social housing is going to be part of the big plan of the government of Kenya and i want to ask our county governments to work with us so that we can deliver on this plan for the benefit of the majority of the people of our nation hapa hapa machakos tulikuwa na matatizo kidogo ya ardhi hapa mavoko last week nilikutana na wale wote ambao wanahusika na sasa tumekubaliana tutoe haya mambo kotini ili tuweze kujenga nyumba zingine hapa hapa mavoko na nitaongea na governor wenu na wale viongozi wengine wa hapa ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunafanya kazi hiyo kwa pamoja hapa machakos hapa mavoko tuko na waegezaji ambao wako tayari kufanya kazi na sisi kujenga nyumba 1200 200000 housing units here kuanzia social houses ile nyumba ambayo mwananchi ataweza kulipa shilingi 1000 kila mwezi baada ya miaka 15 20 hiyo nyumba inakuwa yake ile ingine ya shilingi 1400 na 500 na ingine ya shilingi 6000 alafu tutakuwa na affordable houses alafu tutakuwa na zile social amenities zingine and i want to ask that all of us focus on the bigger picture because we can transform this nation in our lifetime by working together and working in a focused manner so tutashirikiana na mimi nitarudi hapa machakos hivi karibuni kwa sababu nataka pia Uh, county government yetu ikiongozwa na dada yangu wa vinya ndeti atutafutie shamba machakos town na pia kama inawezekana matu na vile vile 
the other uh, big shopping centers kwa sababu sawa governor kwa sababu tuko na waegezaji ambao tumeshaongea na wao tayari we have an opportunity to construct another 10 or 15000 houses in different townships in Machakos County and this will be the program of affordable housing tayari we are working with already 15 counties that have given us land so that we can get the investors and we can provide for the um, off-tech program. We, we are going to sponsor wale watu ambao watataka kununua manyumba hapa. Sisi kama serikali ya Kenya tutawapatia pesa ya kununua hiyo manyumba kwa mortgage. But we to make sure that we, uh, we, are, we are structuring this with our pension schemes and shortly uh, members of parliament and I am happy that the uh, good gentlemen and ladies from the uh, committee of parliament in charge of housing we are going to have a conversation with them shortly ili tuwe pia na ile housing fund ambayo itakuwa mandatory ndio tutumie hiyo housing fund kuhakikisha kwamba wale watu hawana pesa tunawapatia pesa waweze kununua manyumba zile tutajenga ndio tuwe na home owners wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya vile vile wakati nitarudi hapa kufanya hiyo kazi pamoja na nyinyi nataka niulize all the other counties to work with the ministry of housing so that we can expand this program to cover all our counties because we have Kenyans living in informal settlements in every part of the Republic of Kenya and it is our duty and responsibility to reach out to them so that we can do this program with the counties and make and, and, and afford and access living uh, good living houses for the citizens of our country in every part of Kenya nikiwa hapa um, machakos pia mmenieleza kuhusu mambo ya maji ni kweli wakati tulikuwa tunajenga expressway kuna pipes zingine hapo ziliharibika tunazirekebisha kabla ya januari tutakuwa tumemaliza vile vile eh, mambo ya northern collector tunnel kuna section karibu kilomita 15 hivi ambayo hatujamalizia tunamalizia hiyo section tulikuwa na shida kidogo ya compensation sasa tumemaliza hiyo maji kutoka northern collector ndio itatusaidia ku boost maji yenye itakuja hapa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie nimeambiwa ya kwamba hii estate iko hapa haija watu hawajaingia kuishi kwa sababu iko shida ya maji i want to promise that early next year you will have enough water in this area so and we will sort out uh, the water the water challenges for so that the people of Siokimau na hapa Mulolongo Katani mpaka Mavoko waweze kupata maji ya kutosha nitarudi hapa tena tuko na program ambayo tumekuwa tukifanya na serikali ya Belgium na tutakamilisha hivi karibuni na nitaangalia vile tunaweza ku extend hiyo program to cover some of the areas that are needy at the moment just around this uh, Mavoko township bile bile ningependa kusema ya kwamba yale mambo mengine mmeuliza ya barabara najua tuko na barabara hapa tulianzisha imekwama tuko na barabara tulianzisha sehemu nyingi ambazo zilikwama kwa sababu tulikuwa na siasa mingi na mambo hiyo ingine mnajua <laughs> lakini sasa <laughs> tunafanya um, tumeweka mpango maalum na mutasikia kutoka sisi hivi karibuni kwa sababu nia yangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba zile barabara zote tumezianzisha tusikamilishe kwanza ndio tuanzishe zingine so i know there are many stall projects as uh, madam governor has said in machakos county different parts including of course the bridge in uh, that side of kalakala in masinga i am very much aware uh, because that road i went there to start it that time lakini ilikuja ikakwama because of funding so mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba hiyo miradi yote mmesema it is in our priority list 
and we will come back to you shortly and we will move the contractors to site eh, hivi karibuni ndio tuweze kuendelea na hiyo na hiyo mipango vile vile nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba mambo ya maji in the wider eh, sense tumesema ya kwamba if there is one thing we must deliver to our people is matters to do with water and i know how water is important in Machakos, Kitui and Makweni. I am fully aware as it is important in the rest of the Republic of Kenya. So we have a big program on dam construction, as has been said earlier. We are going to keep an eye on the priorities that every county uh, will want to work with us. I am encouraging every county government to work with the Ministry of Water so that we can identify priority projects together and so that we can deliver to the electorate that elected all of us into office. Iyo maji ya masinga ambaye mumesema ili kusiwe na mvutano kati ya county ya machakos na ile ya kitui I will avail the water for the intake, the money for the intake so that and uh, the PS Interior, make sure you communicate to your colleague at the Ministry of Water so that we can deliver on that. Because Niliambi Wapia, Hio Changamoto Wakati Nilikua Kanisani Kule Kitui. So we will, we will work with you on that. Nataka Pia Niwaeleze, Nini Mkio Watu wa Saimuhi, Tuko Nampango Mkubwa, Mbayo Tunafanya Hapa Konza City, Mbayo Itaj. Ita faidi wa Kenya wote na kwa sababu hiko hapa tutakikisha kwa mba wale watu wa semu hii pia wanajumuishwa katika ile program ya smart city ya mambo ya technology ambayo naendelea pale and we have committed a lot of money nimetoka Korea juzi na tumepata karibu bilioni miyamoja ishirini ya expansion, ya maji na mambo yale mengine na tutashirikiana tukienda mbele tukiwa pamoja. Mimi singe penda kusema kuzidi hapo. Mimi nataka ni washukuru sana kwa sababu ya kushirikiana sote katika harakati hii ya kusukuma taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Nataka vile vile mjue ya kwamba sote Tulisema ya kwamba tunataka kusaidia wale wananchi bottom up. Tunaanza na wale wako chini. Sindio? Na ndiyo tumesema ya kwamba we must have affordable credit to the people ambao wanafanya biyashara ya kawaida. Hustler Fund tume launch awamu ya kwanza. Tuta launch awamu ya pili februari. Tayari tuko na watu karibu milioni kumina tatu ambao wamejiunga na na Hasla Fund tayari tumepatiana bilioni tano katika hiyo mpango na mimi nataka niwaulize wa Kenya wote ya kwamba ukichukua mkopo ulipe ndio uongezewe ile utakopa the next day na katika hiyo mpango vile vile tuko na mpango ya pension ya wananchi kila mtu ambaye atakuwa katika hiyo program pia atakuwa anafanya saving mimi nimefurai kwamba tayari in the last one week savings imefika 250 million. Na inaonekana wazi ya kwamba it is going to collect more money in savings than what currently NSSF is collecting. And therefore I want to congratulate all the people who are participating in this platform. Kwa sababu savings ndiyo itatusaidia kujenga taifa letu la Kenya. Wale wanajua mambo ya uchumi wanajua ya kwamba investment is a function of savings. You cannot invest what you don't have. Na hata hii mikopo yote tunakopa from all over the place ni kwa sababu sisi wenyewe hatujaweka pesa yetu ndani ya saving. The money we are borrowing from China and every other place is the money saved by the people of that country. So we must drive our own development using our own savings. And that is why savings is very important.
sitaki kusema zaidi nimefurahi sana e, kufika hapa e, machakos e, mbunge wangu wa hapa bwana makau nimekusikia mambo yako umesema una vile unataka mambo ya sub county hapa na mambo hiyo ingine unasema unataka hapa tutashirikiana tutaongea na huyu jamaa hapo nyuma yako hapo tutapangana tukienda mbele <laughs> tutapangana tuki tuki tukienda mbele na mjue ya kwamba sisi zote na wauliza kama wa Kenya sisi zote tukiungana tukishirikiana tukifanya kazi pamoja hii nchi tutabadilisha kwa pamoja musikubali tugawanywe katika mirengo hakuna mirengo tena ile kazi iko hapa ni sisi tuliochaguliwa tuungane na tukabiliana changamoto za wa Kenya tufanye mpango ambayo tutazalisha chakula tuondoe njaa tuongeze tu eh, program kama hii ya housing na agro processing na zile zingine ili vijana hawa wapate ajira na tuweze kukuza uchumi wetu na tuhakikishe ya kwamba sote tunatembea kwa pamoja bila ya ubaguzi and i am going to make sure that all counties and all sections of our country are moving together in tandem so that we can have a nation that all of us can be can be proud of to be citizens so um watu wa machakos nimefurahi tena kuwa hapa na nitarudi wakati huo mwingine tuweze kupanga mambo ya maendeleo pamoja na nyinyi asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu thank you very much mshimo rais ni kuombe ubaki jukwani kwa heshima mshimo